Hey guys, it's Sydney. Hey guys, it's Sydney editing and I realized that this whole video is out of focus until the end. So I really wanted to share it with you because I did use up a lot of stuff, but I ended up checking everything out I, uh, before being able to check the footage. So if you still want to watch, uh, feel free and thank you. Um, but yeah, sorry about that guys. I am here today with a very exciting video. I have all of my empties for you. And this week I just found out that a Nando's bag is a really easy way to get your empties together. So let's go through this right now. I've got uh, Max Fix Plus. Um, I like Fix Plus, but I don't like the pump on this and I don't think I would repurchase it. The pump is just so annoying. It's like a like a quick burst and I don't like that. I have the H2O Beauty Elements uh, Face Cleanser. This was good but it was kind of like a jelly consistency and I didn't really like that and it didn't take off my makeup so I won't be buying that again. I have a hand sanitizer. It's Purell, no big deal. I can't wait to use them all up. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and here I've got my Milk Hydro Primer Sample. I've heard very mixed reviews on this, and honestly I liked it. It was good. It, um, it didn't feel like tacky or sticky. It just felt like it made my face nice and like prepped and filled in my pores, that kind of thing. So I would buy the full size of this. I've got the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Body Lotion. Um, this is a gift of purchase. It was good, but I typically don't um, use these unless I'm wearing the fragrance, so um, it doesn't really matter to me if I get a lotion with my perfume, and I wouldn't um, go for this one again. I have a Skin to Mitt uh, Shave Gel. This is the Raspberry Rain. I don't really have a huge preference for them. This did the job, and I started it on May 26th of last year, so I go through about one a year, it sounds like. And, um, yeah, usually I just use conditioner, so happy to be done with that. I have a I Love Raspberry and Blackberry Body Wash. This was very nice. It didn't feel as, like, refreshing as I would like, but it smelled really good. It smelled like, um, kind of like Kool-Aid, like it was really nice. And um, I think you can get this brand at Shoppers. I used up a Suave 24-hour deodorant in the U.S. These are 89 cents, which blows my mind. I had to buy one on my last visit there. And um, yeah, 89 cents, and it lasted me a long time. So you guys have it good for some stuff over there, like this Suave deodorant. This was the bleach I used to dye the ends of my hair. If you can see, I've got pink in it right now. So I was a little hesitant to use this, but it, guys, it worked out really great. I didn't uh, go full blonde, like to show that on the cover is like just like deceiving and um, it doesn't show up like that, but I probably used it about twice. It lightened my hair enough to like get the pink to show and I would totally purchase this again for um, when I need to do that next, so yeah. I've got my one a day gummy vitamins. I've realized that I will not take vitamins unless they're gummy. I just don't like the taste and I never will and I miss these a lot. They were very yummy. I've got a Batiste dry shampoo. This is the deep and dark brown. Obviously I don't have brown hair, but it kind of works in the same way. I can see like the dark, but like when you um, brush it in, it's like the same that the white does. It just goes away. So um, I just use this up, no problem. Batiste, as we all know, is the gre greatest dry shampoo. There's no way around it in terms of price, in terms of size. And I already have a couple backups, so we'll definitely be grabbing this again. I used up this Nair Face and Upper Lip um, Cream, so this you put on your mustache and it gets rid of it. Actually, I didn't get the chance to use all of this up, and last time I used it, it didn't work as well. And then I had a backup and I used it, and it worked amazing. So I guess they just lose their effectiveness. I've probably had this for five years, so um, just a note, if yours isn't working, you just probably have to replace it. But I love this stuff. I'll never be without it. Um, I have very light hair, but um, it's really easy to get rid of with this. It takes 10 minutes. Um, would definitely buy again. 
I have a Pantene conditioner. This is the Dream Care line. Um, I don't like Pantene conditioners. I don't think they um, sit in your hair for long enough. Like they never feel like they penetrate your hair. And um, I just use this up to use it up. But I'm using a Dove one right now and heavenly, heavenly. I cannot wait to be done with it. And your hair smells so good. So I would recommend that over this for sure. Okay, so this actually kind of has a funny story. There's still some left because I cut it open. And this is the got to be smooth operator smoothing satin drops. And they smell amazing. They don't make this um, smooth operator line anymore. But I loved it. It smelled so good. And I hope they bring it back. And there's no way I was not getting every little drop of this. So there's still a little bit in there. But when this is gone, I'm going to be really sad. I really love this stuff. So, oh well. I'm done with a Super Sizer Mascara. I really like this uh, one from CoverGirl. It's got like a silicone brush and it wraps around your lashes really nicely, but it flaked really badly near the end there, but it is really nice for separating your lashes. I have a Sephora Mud Mask. This stuff is really great. Unfortunately, it dried out before I could use it, um, but I will repurchase another one. It's one of those uh, like clay masks that... Um, like you can see the oil coming out, so I really like that. But I really only need one of those at a time, and when I have my Glam Glow, I'm not using this over the Glam Glow, so, um, but I will buy it again at some point. I have some cotton balls. Uh, these I only use uh, for my nails. I don't use cotton balls on my face. I have a biotin I used up. Um, yeah, I'm not going to rush out to go buy this, but I take it when I, uh, when I have it. I've got a Verb sample, and I wanted to talk about this because this was very nice shampoo. This was the Verb Ghost shampoo. Oh, it smelled amazing, and it really made my hair like, er, 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 like totally squeaky clean. And I really loved that, and it's color safe now that I have that to deal with. And yeah, I cannot wait to pick this up when I'm through everything. I actually... I'm getting rid of these three EOS's. They've just gone bad. Oh! <laughs> oh, no, I can't do that. I wish I could. Um, um, anyways, I'm getting rid of these three because um, I just don't use them. And I just, we definitely fell for this. But come on, guys. This is not comfortable. And I'm bad enough at using lip gloss as it is. So these are going. I used up a Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. I uh, love this stuff. Um, when I remember to use it, it, and I'm glad it's finally done so I don't have to remember it now, but um, I like it, but I'm not going to repurchase it. I used up a Glam Glow Glow Starter Moisturizer. Now, this smells so good. It looks really nice. It's so, like, nice and, like, soothing to put on, but it doesn't like it doesn't feel as expensive as it is like I would really expect like a lot of anti-aging or like tingling or like a lot of medicinal ingredients but uh, medicinal or medical ingredients um but this doesn't do that it just smells fruity and moisturizes and kind of gives your skin like a sheen and um I liked it but I think this is kind of costly and I don't think I'd pay for that when you could get like a really nice oil or serum or something instead so yeah but I love using these samples when I have them they, they always get me excited I love like the pink and I think that's so cute another product from Glam Glow I use is their super cleanse the cream to foam cleanser um didn't like this it was charcoal and um it didn't do anything for makeup and even as a second cleanse I didn't find it to be incredible so would not buy that I use their hydration treatment. I've got two of those here. Um, this I really liked, but you can find a lot of the same for a cheaper price tag, similar with their moisturizer. So I'm going to pass on this, but um, I would uh, try it again. I have their Youth Mud Mask. That's the one that's my favorite, I would say. Then I have a sample of their um, Gravity Mud. And this is nice, but same thing. It's just a peel off and it's like 90 bucks. Um, 
I like using it though. They're fun to peel and fun to see the metallics of it. So whatever. That's like a, a little luxury in my life. Uh, I tried the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Cream. This is a one-time use, but that was the first time anything Drunk Elephant touched my face, so I thought that was substantial. And this, I was actually really bummed to find out that it's discontinued, and it just goes to show that I have way too much junk um, in my collection. So this was the Power Mud Dual Cleanse. It was a mud to oil treatment, so yeah, like it, it felt like really thick, and then it like emulsified and really felt nice at getting my makeup off. I go to buy it, turns out it's been discontinued. So out of all those Glamglow samples I tried, this is the only one I would buy, and they don't even have it anymore, so that made me feel kind of silly. Uh, I've got this Satin Care in Shower Moisturizer. Uh, they don't sell this anymore, but I think Nivea still makes theirs, and I think in the US, like Olay makes one, but this was like lotion you could put on in the shower before you get out, and it made your skin feel moisturized and I really like that because on days like when you're in a rush you like in the shower it takes so much less time than actually putting lotion on it takes like 10 seconds you're literally like and then like you're done right so um, that was really good um, but it's too bad if you can't buy it anymore I really like that I'm done with this Neostrata brightening peel solution uh, this stuff I actually really liked but it dries up too quickly you really have to be consistent and for it's kind of expensive for that and you have to put it on with a cotton round which I find absorbs the product so there's really no point but um, I think they have three different kinds and the brightening I really liked when it worked but it's just too much upkeep I would say to use this. I used up a pen and I just left it the opportunity to put that in here. This is the Papermate Inkjoy Gel, the greatest pens on earth. And that's why I used it up. I have a Sukin facial moisturizer. This was really nice, but I need something with anti-aging. This was good just for, you know, hanging around at home, no SPF, whatever. But um, yeah, I did like it. I would repurchase it, but I've got a couple to use up. I used up the Visanti Brighten Up Enzymatic Face Rejuvenator. I love this stuff. They sell it at Shoppers. It's a really nice scrub for your face. So like gentle but refreshing. Like you really don't feel like you scrub the hell out of your face. You just feel like I'm really clean and like it really renews your skin. Like you feel really clean when after you use this and really um, bright. So. I would definitely recommend that. Then I have the Ordinary High Spreadability Fluid Primer. This just did not work and I am not willing to wrestle with it. Uh, I really like their other one, like in the tube primer, but this primer just was icky. Didn't like it. I have the Neostrata Aqua Youth Eye Cream. I love Neostrata. This was just, I didn't notice a huge difference in this eye cream, but it was good. It was like fast absorbing. I have an old bottle of Sachet V that I went to paint my toes with and seemed to dry out, so I'm going to check that out. And then, this is kind of interesting, um, this was in my drawer. I remember getting this, it's like a gift with purchase, and it's essentially like a piece of rubber that smells like a fragrance, so you can put it like in your sock drawer, like your underwear drawer, or whatever, for it to smell good. and. It still smells like it, but like there's no need for me to have this. But I thought that that was just kind of like a funny gift of purchase. Like that's kind of cool, right? Like if you really like the fragrance, you want it in your drawer. So anyways, <laughs> on that note, um, thank you so much for watching. I um, hope you guys used up some stuff this month as well. So I will talk to you guys soon. Until then, bye.